Hi, I'm Gail and I'm in Saskatoon right now. This is my 2008 Dodge Caravan. Um, come and take a look at my home. I got into van life, um, I, I guess I'm an army brat and I'm used to kind of, when I was a kid, um, making forts and living in the bush, stealing um, my dad's ration packs in uh, Petawawa in central Ontario. But um, I've been in a 30 year relationship um, that became very toxic and um, as a female I needed a, a safe place and so I tucked away some money and I created my own safe place because I didn't want to live in a transition house. I uh, wanted to be independent and on my own. So after 30 years of being in that relationship, I'm downsizing to this and uh, I'm going to start a new life somewhere else. And I'm not going to be in a big rush um, to hop into a situation where I don't feel safe. Um, I'm always safe in this van. I don't even feel safe in the house I'm trying to sell right now, but I feel so safe in this van. It's my cocoon. So anyway, here it is. Most of my stuff um, was bought actually um, in Value Village or um, scavenged um, from other things. Um, Canadian Tire, Home Depot. So I'll start with, here's my dresser. I picked this up at Value Village. It all folds up. Um, it has these great pockets on the side. This is part of my uh, security system. Um, I have um, an air horn I picked up at Home Depot uh, in the boat section. Um, I have my bat with my dad's army, uh, old army cord on here actually. Um, and in here is um, some dog spray from Cabela's. Um, and I also have bear spray. So as a female traveling by myself, you like to have that security. Um, so, uh, I have my fire smoke detector, um, I have a um, carbon monoxide detector and I just pull them out as I use them. But for traveling I pack them away. Um, so I actually built um, this in three different pieces. It can all come out in three different pieces. Uh, one, okay, uh, two, and the bottom part, the section you can't see, is three. So, they haven't really changed the design too much of Dodge Caravans. Everybody drives one, it seems like, and a great one to boot. So it kind of really blends in. Um, stealth was important for me because of um, safety and not wanting people to know uh, where I was. So, um, I picked a Dodge Caravan because I knew I could pick up parts anywhere from any junkyard if I needed to. And I have. And. Um, I needed to live cheaply, so I picked this up. Um, actually, it's a SGI write-off um, for $5,000. Um, and there's a fellow in town by the name of um, Mitch. He knew my story and he helped me build it. So under here is some storage and my bathroom. There's actually um, a porta potty in there. Okay. Um, it opens in several different ways. I can flip up this way, I can flip back this way, depending on what I want to get to right away. Um, the quilt, Value Village. My sheepskin, Value Village. <laughs> um, inside of these um, king size uh, pillow shams are sleeping bags. So they serve two purposes. So there's my lightweight one, and this is my heavy duty one. Uh, so I can go into like minus like 28 with this guy and I have used him um, So what I like about this is it's long enough that I just stuff a pillow between I'm five seven and a half now um, I stick a pillow between 
the two chairs and I have got enough room to stretch out. Um, so when I want to relax, I have my chaise lounge. the stone go seats in here so the stone go obviously was ripped out of this one to put the bathroom in uh, the other stone go is still in there so I can actually travel legally with three people I did leave all my seat belts intact because I didn't want any sensors going off and messing up stuff like that I left this seat belt in as well and I clipped it in here I bolted it in here so uh, I can't travel technically with people in here bolted in here or, or strapped in here but what I do is I've got a, a box that I can fit here and then I can strap it in so if I step on the brakes it's gonna be locked in place okay I'm all about safety um, so underneath in the stone go um, is on one section is my water and it's just a simple uh, pump sink that, that I've put in here um, and this is a bowl from Dollarama and um, I don't have any gray water um, catch right now I have enough room for it but um, I use biodegradable soap magnetic bars are from Ikea um, I found my mirror in Value Village and as you see it as I travel it can fold and stick right in the sink as I travel and um, so back here is more magnet bars um, just again value village but I do believe they're from Ikea and uh, I have magnets everywhere I find that really really helps um, here we have um, just little containers on these magnets for the little things uh, that you need like you know sewing kit or um, safety pins elastic bands I picked this one up um, just at Giant Tiger yesterday um, super cheap, like the automotive ones, um, and my little lighter fits in there. Um, more magnets over here, small storage. I have my little fan that clips to the seat belt. Uh, I picked that up at um, Canadian Tire. I have two of them actually. And that's what I like about this fan is these windows do open on the sides, even this older version, 2008. And you'll see when I built my Reflectix, I actually put screen in my Reflectix and little doors. So both fans can really kind of get the air moving in here so you're not too hot. So this is the Coolatron. I picked it up used uh, for $10. So it works just fine for me. You know, I have used it to uh, haul things. So you'll notice there's some, it's, it's We've got some marks in here, some character built up. Um, I recently just um, helped fence in an area for goats and stuff, so I had to bring in some T-bars, um, which is not, not a problem. Every little ding tells a story, and I love it. Um, this is a 1,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And again, uh, because I have the stone go seats, there's a basement where the battery sits and it's hooked up to the van battery. Uh, if I'm traveling down the road and want to charge this up, I just click this on and it charges it. Um, there's my battery maintainer. Um, it's very important to, I found out the hard way, very important to maintain your batteries. Um, you can't just leave it in the winter and then not touch it. Um, take care of them and they will last you much, much longer. So. This was all done up in the summertime, um, along with the plumbing. Um, I have my little, I like the ambiance, from this, what's that store? Um, as seen on TV, I just saw it and I love fireplaces. I absolutely love fireplaces. They mellow me right out. And I, I'm, I have a very peaceful life now. I am so much happier. Um, and I just, 
I'm so relaxed in here and this actually gets a good giggle because uh, even in times where um, people have, uh, there's a, a fireplace ban, I've literally brought this out and stuck it in the middle of the group so we all have something to stare at. <laughs> so anyway, um, this bar I picked up uh, Walmart and it has um, those USB plugs. A lot of this stuff runs on USB. My fan runs on USB. Um, I have some lights. Ooh, this light. I love this light from uh, Canadian Tire. It's really, um, really powerful. So this is the Reflectix that I had uh, left over from a project um, in my house. I built a screen room. But um, there was also a small hot tub and there's hot tub insulation that you can get. So I took packing tape and um, I just sandwiched them together and in between actually I put one of those screens uh, from Dollarama that you can cut up. So those sit in the, in the side windows and my fans clip onto the seat belts and they can whip the air it's around. genius that. It's a good idea. Yeah. I've also done that with the um, front windows as well. It's a little peekaboo spot too, that's great. Yeah. Um, I plan on getting the rain guards for the, um, the side windows, um, so that way I can still have air circulating through and if it rains it's not going to come into the van. So I went to the wrecking yard, I found these little, I, these guys have been very helpful, but I went to a wrecking yard and I went to every Dodge Caravan and I started uh, taking them out because I find these tie downs really help. I, I struggled for the longest time trying to figure out where I'm going to put these um, reflectix and this is just easier and I actually have them in, in a certain order so I can be in my van and pull them out and I know exactly which one I want at the time. So I have my little solar charger on the, on the lid of this but this is my um, candle um, heater. There's a candle heater in here. Um, so again, I buy these straps. I buy these straps at like Dollarama, and I just screwed them onto the back. Um, again, at the wrecking yard, I found uh, stuff like this. These little bungees that are coming out of other vehicles, and I just, yeah, strapped or uh, screwed them in there. Um, all my extra cords are in there. Um, but I will show you again with the chloroplast take a look. I modified this room a little bit. This basement. This is where my water sits. This water container, you can get them at um, Cabela's. So the hose just actually weaves into the little holes that are already in there and it goes right down into my tank. So, and I also built this. So there's about 38 days worth of dehydrated food in here. I'm kind of a prepper that way. Um, if you take a look. It always stays cool in the basement, okay? So even if you have medicine, this is the place to keep it, right? Because even on a hot day, even without this, this um, Reflectix, it was nice and cool down here. So I've built this since then. And this is just an old, fanny pack I got from Valley Village. So, you don't want your medications getting hot and bothered. <laughs> right? Otherwise they're not going to work. Um, so it actually pulls right out in one piece. That's the one thing I did spend money on is the uh, Sea to Summit dishes. I have bigger ones as well. And then of course there's Pokey and Gumby to keep me company. So it pulls out my working space and my stove fits there. So yeah, 
uh, I just I want people to know that um, you know if you're in a bad situation uh, you can make it better for yourself and it didn't take much it didn't take much at all I, I probably built this for under a thousand dollars definitely a lot of stuff found uh, scavenged tuck your money away um, when you go out to Walmart you can always get an extra little bit here and there to put away dehydrated food um, a little pillow whatever you need to do um, and make a plan ahead of time make a plan ahead of time I this was in my head for six months before I built it I, I knew the end was coming I needed to be safe and um, so this is what I created um, I, I just took off um, and did it all in one weekend with a friend you just need to know that you don't have to be stuck in a bad spot um, plan ahead and uh, whether you're 54 like me or 17 and you can buy a minivan and do it all up I'm happy here I'm, I'm safe I know exactly um, where everything is I'm much happier. Sorry, I'm gonna cry. I need a second. Um, I suffer from PTSD now because of staying in a relationship um, that went way past what I should have stayed in. Um, but just know that there, you can create your safety. Um, you can you can create your peace. Uh, don't give up. Uh, just make a plan. Be safe. If you have to go to a transition house, go to a transition house. Um, uh, I know when I get to where I'm going, I feel like I'm not going to be in a big rush. I'm not going to get myself in a situation where I'm going to be living in a sketchy place. I'm going to be in my van. I'm going to be safe. I can take the time to make good choices for me, what's best for me. And um, it'll all unfold um, as it's meant to be. That's just my belief. Okay? That's perfect.